hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl maureen glow you guys um chiwe talu agu debunks death sickness rumor i thought chiwe talu agu um took to his instagram page to debunk the news about him being seriously sick before he passed his post reads yesterday i got over 500 calls from friends fans and family who wants to know if the stories they read on facebook was true i'm not on facebook now i don't know who started these nonsense stories of them being dead not me but one thing i know is all the people that started this story and posted it on facebook will die before me in the name of chuku okike abiyama ise okay i'm sorry if i'm not reading that well in Igbo. um if you see such nonsense post on facebook please report the owner of the account signed chief chiwe taloagu okay guys um apparently this whole rumor started on facebook a facebook user posted and i quote our nigerian movie actor is really sick please pray for him to recover speedily chiwe taloagu made the post to address the rumor of him being sick and after chiwe taloagu has addressed the said post on facebook the um facebook user or should i call him or her a blogger went on to post another one and the tweet comic veteran nollywood actor chiwe taloagu exits the stage he will be greatly missed and people um started you know pouring in condolences even a comment under this post reads rest in peace legend you will surely be missed like you guys come on why are people like this though i mean how do people start a rumor like this like why would someone decide to you know say or write something of such about someone who is clearly still alive like i really don't get it to me this is the highest level of disrespect you guys i mean what is this madness all about has it gotten to the extent of using death as a prank on someone's life like what for for views for likes for comments oh i get it it obviously for traffic that's extreme you guys um and it's really not fair i wonder how people or the person who started this kind of rumor sleeps at night for real though i just wish um they are tracked down and dealt with i on facebook miscrant them to fear kwan the wicked people anyway um sachi wetaluagu you will not die yet that is not your portion you will live long and celebrate your family in jesus name moving on you guys nigerians blast yemi alade for saying i mean posting that her mom once you know sacrificed a economic class um ticket to pay her school fees yemi alade uh, posted and i quote london is more than just a city to my family it marks a time in our lives 20 years ago when mom had to sell our economic class ticket to pay my primary school fees. Today we fly business class. But you guys, Nigerians did not find this post funny at all. They were like, wow, your mom had money for tickets and couldn't afford your tuition. Yemi Alade, take it easy, sis. Poverty is not a competition. <laughs> Another read. I am not understanding the moral behind this announcement and the relevance of this information is for what exactly? And another read, I am wondering how she could afford money to pay for flights and couldn't pay your school fees. Anti-motivational speaker avoid us this year. <laughs> and there is this particular one that caught my eyes you guys. It reads, if your mom don't take care of you, who will? No need for all these rights of just tell us you flew your mom on a business class to London. Make matter finish. <laughs> oh my god, Nigerians. Well, guys, I have this one question for the Nigerians who keeps questioning, um, you know, um, yeah, Miss Post. What if our mom was a businesswoman and that ticket was meant for an important, you know, um, uh, business? Or let's say she bought the ticket long before the school fees, you know, um, situation yes some people buy tickets um a year before they travel remember guys not everything needs to be decoded same as some of our mamas and grandmas had to sell their jewelries wrappers and whatnot just to make sure we are fine different strokes so people before judging your post think about this nigerians sha
you can't even tell your story in peace like lie meanwhile you guys and your lab bad must have challenged weight loss pills sellers and your lab made a post which reads if truly your weight loss pills and food works use and your bad moss as a project work on me and let the world see the pro <laughs> and let the world see the progress stop using people to advertise weight loss food pills and etc guys when i saw this post i'm like nothing can be more true than this like it's so true and your lab i remove my cap for you on this one because you did not only shake the table you broke the table that even though I won't be able to repair the table, I bet they won't accept the challenge because they know, they know the truth that they always use someone that has either gone under the knife or already slim person to advertise their products. A quick one, you guys. Um, the truth needs to be said. Okay. Um, the healthy way to lose weight is through exercising. If you can't do it the keto way, every other way is harmful, guys. But no caps, Sha. And your lab burnt the table. And yes, that will be it for this video. Please subscribe if you haven't. Click on the bell icon for notification. Like if you do. Comment and share. And I, yours truly, will see you on my next one. But until then, be good and represent everything good. And bye bye. Mwah.